Well, 2015 is just about out of here, and 2016 is on its way in. In technology, it changes so quick, and I like to do these technology prediction videos. This one's going to be a little bit different, but before we get started with that, I wanted to look back at what I said in last year's predictions for 2015. If you missed that video, I'll put the link up here and you can watch it. But we're going to review it anyway. And I think you'll be surprised at some of the things I said and some of the things that actually come true. I could actually make money with some of these predictions, I'm telling you. It shocked me to look back on them. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk about my past predictions. Well, I'm here at Thingiverse, and I'm looking for some 2016 glasses. Here's a pair here, so I'm going to go ahead and use these. I brought it into Kira. Here it is here. And I think I can get it all on the bed at the same time. So I'm going to take my memory card and uh, get going on this. Well, the first prediction that I made last year was that Windows 10 would be well received and liked by the public. And based on what I've seen so far, that seems to be true. I have figured that every other operating system that Microsoft put out was doing well. So with Windows 8, 10 had to be better, and so far it seems to be. And by the way, did you know that they're doing away with the term service pack, and they're now calling it threshold. I had to look it up because it's so weird. Do you know what Threshold means? And did you know that we're on Threshold too? Who knew? Another prediction that I thought was interesting that actually came true was I said that it would be cool if 3D printer shops had a facility you could walk into and order a 3D print from your file. It turns out that the chain UPS store, you know, the brown truck, they actually have over 60 locations now. You can walk in there and order a 3D print and they'll make it for you. What? One of my most off the wall ideas for last year's prediction was an idea for a grocery store that was unmanned and robotic. If you went there, you could get your food and it would be given to you all automated. It turns out after I investigated for this video, there's such a company that's in the works for this year. A company called Eat Greater out of Des Moines, Iowa is developing the first automated grocery store. So instead of speaking about my predictions for this year, I think I'm just going to recap some of the things this year that I think were interesting. The first thing that I think is interesting that's coming about is television technology and monitors. You know, we're up to 4K now, and developers are now looking at ways to improve the pixel rather than working on the resolution. The eye is settled at 4K, and to further advance larger screens. Again, they're working on pixel size. You know, the hoverboard's been really popular this year and I expect other variations of that. With the hoverboard, you've probably seen in the news where lithium batteries are causing fires. Junky batteries from China are coming in that don't have the proper precautions built into them. And lithium is very sensitive to moisture as well as air. And if the batteries aren't built properly, they can cause fires. 3D printers are pretty popular. And with 3D printers, they're starting to mix metals and other types of materials and with plastics to make it um, more useful, so I expect all kinds of exotic materials to be put into 3D printer plastics. They even print chocolates, so that's pretty interesting. 
Mm -hmm. Also, with Kickstarter program, I've also seen where they've got self-drying jackets. One of the successful Kickstarter programs has a self-drying jacket. It actually has fans in it that blow air up through the collar, and it even dries your face and your hair if the jacket gets wet. I've also seen where they've got self-tying shoes that comes off from you know, back to the future where Marty had all these futuristic things and they're coming true. Also, uh, something big that's been coming on lately is uh, drones and the FAA recently has a easy registration process that you can register your drone if it's under a certain weight. The little toy drones are subject to the regulation but the larger ones, I believe under over 50 pounds, must be regulated. So with all this new technology, you know, who knows what's next? Maybe next year I'll go back to my predictions, but I felt the need just to recap this year what's coming on. Leave in the comments what you think is going to be the next big hit for this year. Let's go ahead now and take a look at what we've done here at the Guru Brew over this past year in a quick video clip. So let's check that out now. Well, I would say that sums up this year's videos for the Guru Brew. I hope you enjoyed that little show that we did. If you have any ideas for the Guru Brew for new shows coming up this year, let us know. We're looking forward to making more. You know, our channel's grown to 36,000 plus subscribers. That's unbelievable. I can remember when we started with one, you know, and it was so exciting. I can't believe we've got that many, so thank you. I also wanted to show you this little board. This is made by DF Robots, and they sent it to me to make a project to show you guys. It's actually a little tiny Arduino that's got two H-Bridge motor drivers, as well as it has Bluetooth, and I thought about making a little robot with it. Give me some ideas what you might make with this, and we'll 
try them out. Maybe we'll make it. So thanks again for watching. We appreciate it. Happy New Year to you and yours. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.